Live. Okay. How you doing? Good. We've got a spot coming through a pinhole uh, on the uh, right there. Uh, a little hard to see if you're. Uh, uh, we're just about. The moon is just about to enter the corona of the sun, and it will be passing for the next three hours. Of course, peaking at 2.45 or thereabouts, uh, yeah, but we're not going to get a total solar here in New Hampshire. I know on the West Coast, like, they got a better view of it, like over in, like, in um, Washington and um, Oregon. And I know, like, parts of the Midwest, they got, like, what, 95% of the, the eclipse because it's going out of angle. Yes, it's going, uh, and it will come to South Carolina and then out to sea. Nice. Uh, so we're only in the 60, uh, 65 degree, 65 percent range here in New Hampshire. Um, nice. So a lot of people have left New Hampshire going down uh, south or, or out west to, to see the total eclipse. Is it like um, we got, like what, if I'm right or wrong, I know what I was watching news, I think we got like what, 75 percent to get to see it? Is that true? Somewhere in that range, yeah. We're not going to get, in other words, there'll still be some sun showing. And that's why it's important to wear glasses, because you should never look at the sun for any length of time, any at all, because uh, it, it's, you know, just so powerful on your retina. It'll burn things. <laughs> yeah, I, um, as I was telling my YouTubers out there that I would, um, that I got some glasses and that they'll help you protect your eyes. I also read some things on, on the internet that you, um, once the eclipse um, moves, moves away and all that, you should always um, tell the person who's like been doing this for centuries and stuff, like you yourself, like been chasing the eclipse and studying upon it, that you should always just look away for a few minutes. Is that true? Yes, yeah. Get your, get your uh, eyes reacclimated. Yeah. So it's like pretty much like a person like me and a bunch of other people who play video games, we, we sit in front of the TV and you gotta um, <laughs> clear your eyes. Yeah, yeah, very similar. That you get, uh, you know, you, your eyes focus on that one spot. You need to to refocus them to give that lens some relaxation, the muscles around it some relaxation, so you're not damaging it. So we should. So the eclipse starts what at what time? It's uh, actually starting probably now. Uh -oh. uh, the, you're not going to be able to see much, but the moon is actually starting into the sun. Uh, it started in around 1 o'clock, so it's you know, a few minutes after that now. So uh, the, if you had uh, your glasses on, you may be able to see just a tiny niche of the sun starting to go away. Uh, and like I say, it'll be about three hours that it'll take for the moon to come across the sun. So basically, it's like um, when all the planets lined up. What's it? Celsius yeah. or something like that, if I pronounce it right or wrong? Yeah. Yeah, there, it takes a while for the, the moon to go across the sun. Oh, yeah, I got my glasses, you know. I'm telling my YouTubers, like, these are the glasses that oh, yeah. you have to wear, yeah. you know all that fun stuff so I'm not they also said on the internet that you can't use smartphones so I brought my iPod I could damage that I like I said I really don't care because with a smartphone I guess with the solar does something to the smartphone lens I don't know anything about phones as far as uh, what's happening uh, the you know the chemicals that make up the receptor may get damaged by too much heat and that's what would happen if uh, you know they're overpowered by the sun. No, they didn't know that. They got like, the thing. I brought my iPod instead. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, that's my uh, just understanding. But I'm not a, a phone expert. <laughs> I need to talk to phone experts as to whether you can look at it through your phone. Probably not. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. If people out there that have like. Um,